Hello choir! Today we are looking at the solfege on lesson 7, that's page number 27 in your Sing It for Sight books. Our new concept today is dipping farther down the scale. So starting on Do, remember our scale pattern repeats. So if we start on Do and we continue down, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, or I guess we're only going as low as so, okay? So um, one note below do is always T, one note below T is always La, one note below La is always So, one note below So is always going to be Fa, and so on. Let's take a look and apply that to our notation here on page 27. Notice we have one sharp in the key signature. When we have one sharp in the key signature, that tells us that Do is on the second line on that G. Do is always going to be starting on the second line when we have one sharp. All right, we know one note above Do is always Re. One note above Re is always Mi. One note above me is always fa. One note above fa is always so. Here's another so here, so you can write it again or just do a line to show how many so's we have. Make sure you put an end mark there. One note below so is always fa. One note below fa is always me. One note below me is always re. And here we are back on Do, that second line. When we go below Do, we know his name is always T. And back up to Do, there's a rest, and we have another Do here. One note below Do is always T. One note below T is always La. One note below La is always So. And back up, one note above so is always la. One note above la is always t. One note above t is always do. And one note above do is always re. Rest, here we go. Back to do on our second line. Down below do is t. Below t is um, la. Above la is always t, above t is always do, and here we are ending on another do. As you continue your exercises on page 27, make sure you check the key signature. When we have one flat, that means do is always going to be in the first space. When we have two sharps, we know do is always going to be in that first space right below the staff. When we have no sharps or flats, we know that Do is always C. So pay attention. This is also C. If we remember our F, A, C, E for our spaces, here is Do. Even though it's starting on a high Do, that is still Do. Okay? And remember how our first and second endings work when we sing this. We're going to sing all the way through to the repeat sign, go back to the beginning, but when we get to box one again, we've already done that one, we're going to skip over it and go straight to box two as we continue singing to the end of the song. Okay. Bottom of the page, remember two sharps means Do is starting right below the staff. And again, two sharps means Do is starting right below the staff. When you sing this, Make sure you pay attention to those first two rests. That's beat one and two. We start singing on beat three. All right, good luck with your homework. Bye.